Hello you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I cannot believe we are here the end of October, getting ready to do my November reset, my productive monthly reset routine. If you're new here, my name is Jess and I do these monthly resets at the end of every single month to get ready for the month ahead. So anyway, I've already put together my to-do list for the day. I really want to clean the kitchen, tidy up the living room a lot, do some like vacuuming down there. I need to put away a bunch of laundry and then I put reviewing my goals, setting new goals, reviewing my calendar, and then doing a face mess for my little self-care so that's the plan today i hope that this productive monthly reset helps you feel motivated to get reset get ready for november i can't believe we're about to be in november the holidays i feel like time is just flying by lately but anyways also you guys i got this little like oversized sherpa jacket jacket from costco of all places and i think it's so cute they also have like a white and a reddish color but i liked this one so anyways if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up button but let's go ahead get started and i hope you guys do it along with me You guys, upstairs is done. Downstairs is a little chaotic. Lots of dog toys, blankets, and our entire kitchen over there is messy. I'm not gonna lie, like having a puppy means constant supervision. It's so much work. I feel like Chris and I barely have any time to ourselves and also just i feel like i'm falling behind on youtube stuff it's just hard so the house has been a little bit messy and needless to say this little monthly reset has been super necessary but let's finish up this downstairs and then move on to the rest of this video Now that I've done all of the cleaning on my to-do list for my little reset, I really like to spend like 30 minutes, maybe not even 30 minutes, 20 minutes, just like doing a journaling brain dump for my monthly reset. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I typically just write down like brain dump. So anything, it could be anything from like things I'm grateful for, things that I'm frustrated about, things that I want to like attract into my life, even just kind of recapping what's happened over the last month. So pretty much anything that you want. But yeah, just like to do a little brain dump to get my mind right and kind of reflect on the previous month as well as like mentally prepared for the month ahead. <laughs> just finished my little journaling and I just wanted to like quickly reflect with you guys I feel like I never actually like share anything that I write about or reflect on overall I just feel like October was a really solid month like my YouTube growth was going really well my YouTube revenue has started to recover since September if you watched my September like 
YouTube analytics video, then you know that September was not great. So it's nice to kind of see stuff starting to recover in October. I feel like time has just been really flying by this month and I've been really focusing on like being present, living like a softer lifestyle. That's been like such at the forefront of my mind, being like conscious about choices I make with my social plans, with just like how I am, just how I'm spending my time in general. So I just feel like October was a really good month for me. And I'm really hopeful about kind of November and where that's gonna go. So hoping that November is a really strong month as well, both mentally, physically, work, YouTube, etc. I think next I am gonna look at my goals that I set for October, see how those went, and then we'll set some new goals for November. All right, so I'll pop up a screen shot of my goals that I set for myself for October. So first of all, gym four times per week. So basically, I'm not gonna lie, like I have been really focusing on three times per week. I just kind of had this realization that like I don't need to be going four times per week. Three times per week feels really good to me. It feels like I am being consistent. I am showing up for myself and I'm also doing an outdoor run with Sam like once a week. So that's like four really solid workouts per week still. And I am like perfectly okay with that. It feels good for my body. It feels good for, you know, my mental health and everything so I've not been doing it four times per week but I have been going three times per week and that's still really awesome run once per week like I just said I have been doing that so that's awesome track food six days per week I have pretty much not been tracking food I've been really focusing on eating intuitively I feel like because I you know tracked food really consistently for the last like 10 weeks leading into September I got a really good grasp on like my protein intake how much like carbs I should be having what my snacks kind of look like and things started get, getting really like consistent for me so it's been a lot easier to just like eat intuitively and that's what I've been doing just eating food when I'm hungry focusing on foods that energize me make me feel good make me not feel bloated or things like that so that's really been my focus and I've been really enjoying that all right I set a goal of reaching 9,500 subscribers on YouTube and you guys you guys actually broke that yesterday so as I'm recording this I'm at 96 42 so by the time this goes live you know i might have hit 10,000. i'm only like 360 subscribers away absolutely crazy absolutely insane i am blown away i need to figure out what i'm doing for like my 10k subscriber video as like a thank you dedicated video or what but i just i can't believe like this day is coming i i feel like i haven't really reflected on the fact that i'm like about to hit 10,000 subscribers it's just I'm just speechless. So anyways, if you have any ideas or something you want to see from me for the for the 10k celebration, make sure you leave it in the comments box. Minimum views per video up to 1000. I definitely will say like I have started having more and more videos reach that threshold. So it's just one of those things where I feel like, you know, I want to be making really good videos, really useful videos for you guys. So I, I also just feel like, you know, a thousand views now that I am approaching 10,000 subscribers is like a reasonable amount of views. Like that's what I should be getting. So that's what I should be getting. But yeah, so I'm just really trying to like make better videos and start really getting consistent with hitting that goal. Read four books. Okay, time for my book recap. You guys know I love this part of the video. I actually have five books to talk about this month and I still have like a week left in October as I'm recording this, as I usually do. So I haven't quite gotten through all five of these yet, but Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle, you guys, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of hated this book. This was our book club pick for September, but I read it in October, like timing wise of when book club was. This was the first book I read this month and honestly, it's just like set in like the 19, early 1900s or something and I just didn't enjoy the way it was written overall so I don't know I can't really recommend this one to anybody but it's like an interesting concept it just wasn't for me next I read the fine print and if you've read this book you know it's got a little bit of spice in it this one was a really fun one it's kind of like Disneyland vibe you know this was fun spicy romance type of book and kind of a different twist because it was like Disneyland Disneyland-esque next I read wrong place wrong time and you guys I kind of binged this one like it was really really good basically the mom essentially like at the very beginning of the book witnesses her son commit a murder and the next day she like wakes up and has like gone back in time it hasn't actually happened yet and so every chapter is like her waking up earlier and earlier in time as she's trying to like uncover what actually happened why her son committed this and essentially like trying to stop the crime before it's happened this is my first ever time loop type of book but it was really really good i think i gave it five stars on goodreads so yeah, this book was really good. I'm currently like smack dab in the middle of Unfortunately Yours by Tessa Bailey. This is the second book to the Secretly Yours book that I read a couple months ago. I actually do like this one a little bit better than that one. So 
yeah so far it's pretty good i mean it's just kind of like a classic tessa bailey romance a little bit of spice and it's based in like napa wine country so i always like that type of setting of course and then by the end of the month i want to read this one so this is actually our book club pick for october and this is a freedom mcfadden book i've read several of her books so far already and i have loved every single one of them a couple of the girls in our book club have already like finished it and have said it's really really good like super fast read page turner and of course like freedom mcfadden i feel like always has the best twist that you are not expecting so super excited and i'm gonna read this this month as well but that will bring me to five books this month you guys all right so the rest of my goals are just like relaxing and some other like mental health stuff so spend one day recharging i feel like i have been pretty good about doing that be in bed at by nine i've been like okay i feel like it's been hard having the puppy because we kind of are like working on his schedule so trying to get to bed early because he also does get up early so i'm just trying to be better about that and be more mindful of like my own sleep knowing that he's gonna get up early too outdoor walk three times per week journal twice per month check in with myself and meditate so I actually have been doing a lot of outdoor walks, especially with him. We're trying to like leash train him. They're shorter walks, but you know, they're still walks nonetheless. So still nice to get outside. I have been doing my journaling. I've been trying to remind myself to do that and um, have not really been meditating. So it is what it is. Episode two of our podcast, I'm not gonna lie. We have not recorded that. There's still like a week left in the month. So maybe we will, maybe this is a good reminder to get the second episode live. And lastly, book a weekend get away from me and Chris. I also have not done that. Kind of forgot that I made that goal for myself. So maybe I will work on that this weekend. But those are all my goals for October. I feel like overall it went pretty well. And I'm gonna look at this and set some new goals for November as well as pick a new word of the month. And if you missed it from my last video, the word of the month is really just like something I want to remind myself of, like one word that I can think about as I'm going through the month. Last month was like be present. And so like if anything came up, like that was the word I was thinking of was presence, like be present, just focus on the moment. All right, first off, changing this month to November, then updated my gym goal to three times per week as I was just talking about, changed my eating goal to focusing more on eating intuitively. I wasn't quite sure what to put for my subscriber goal, so I decided to leave that for later and kept my minimum views goal, my books goal, my one day recharging goal, get good sleep goal, all of these goals felt really still in line with my personal goals, so I wanted to go ahead and keep them. I did delete meditation just because that hasn't been super realistic for me, left my final two goals and then I went ahead and wanted to update my word of the month to patience. The reason for this is I just feel like having a puppy and dealing with some of that stuff is a little trying and I really just want to be better about practicing patience this month. And those were all of my goals for November. Let me know in the comments what goals you set for yourself this month. All right, next I like to just take a look at my like social calendar and my content calendar and see if there's anything that I need to sort of update and just have a good grasp on, you know, like everything that I have going on and make sure that i'm not forgetting anything stuff like that so i did put on my calendar to go for a hike this weekend well now that we have a puppy we can't really do that so that's okay i need to think of some other ways that chris and i can like go be outside and enjoy nature that is puppy friendly so i'm gonna delete that on tuesday i'm doing like a halloween movie night with some of the girlies wednesday i'm doing like a pumpkin patch with some friends here so that will be fun we are not doing a halloween party this weekend in november we have katie's baby shower on this 11th so i'm super excited for that hopefully we can maybe do like a friendsgiving or something with some people here oh we will have book club club is on the first oh i forgot i have a doctor's appointment at the end of november I'm getting my nails done in a couple of weeks all right so that's kind of everything i have on the calendar for november let's go over to my content calendar really quick and check in this video went live today this video is in the middle of being edited productive number november reset today we are recording it this video i'm gonna change it was gonna be like a fall days in my life but honestly i feel like those videos have been doing absolutely horrible for me and it's just like i just don't want to be putting out videos that you guys don't like i'm gonna change this to something else then i'll have my next what i spend in a month because i'm gonna try and do those like budget with me's like right at the beginning of the month after i've closed out you know a given month then at, right after that i'll do my 10k subscriber video whatever that's gonna be so i still have like a week or two to 
to figure out that video. And then you guys, during like second half of November leading into Thanksgiving and then through Christmas, I'm gonna actually be posting three times a week again, which is gonna be a little crazy, but I feel like the holidays are a great time to just be putting out content. And I have so many fun content ideas over this next like month and a half or two months. And I only have a few more, you know, like open uh, idea spots for the rest of the year. So if you guys have any like super major video content requests, make sure you let me know because I kind of am like filling up all of my content and have a lot of really good stuff planned for you guys. I would say overall my content calendar is looking pretty good. All right, you guys, that wraps it up for today's productive monthly reset. I hope you did it along with me and I hope that it helps you get ready for the month ahead as well. If you enjoyed this video and you like seeing my monthly resets, make sure you hit the thumbs up button because it helps me know what videos you guys like to see from me. But that is it and I will catch up with you guys next time. Can't stop. Can't stop.